Apostleship Jesus 10 Healing a Paralyzed on the Sabbath, JN 5 Is it willingly that Jesus heals the paralytic on the Sabbath? This story is in the Gospel according to St. John in Chapter 5. That's the story, there was a pool called Bethesda. In that pool, sometimes the water was moving. An angel came down and the first one who went down into the pool, whatever his illness, was healed by the angel. There was on the edge of the pool a paralytic who had been there for 38 years and he had never been able to descend because, being paralyzed, another was coming down before him. Jesus sees him and says to him, Do you want to heal? And he replied, There is no one to put me in the pool. Then Jesus said to him, Get up, take your cot and walk it. Was the Sabbath day. It is a day when the Jewish people remember the rest of God. So we do not work. There is not even walking, there are a number of steps to walk, to go outside, but no more, if we go out of the rules instituted by the priests and sabotage the Sabbath. Obviously, the priests fall on this man carrying his pallet and they say to him, You have no right to do it. And he replied, this man who healed me told me to wear my hat. And he shows Jesus. So that the Jews were determined, not only to kill Jesus, because he scoffed at the rules of the Sabbath but also because he said, to answer them, my father works until now and me too, so well that he was equal to the father. In their eyes, it was a blasphemy. So what to answer to that? Well, Jesus does it on purpose on the Sabbath. Express to explain what is the meaning of these external rituals that God gave in the Law of Moses. The habit of the Jews, as currently the custom of the Muslim Salafists, consists in saying that such material commandment is applied, then we are blessed by God and we will go to heaven. We do not apply it, then we are apart from Islam and Judaism. It was like that. It is the risk of these external commands where it is believed that a practice can heal the heart. But Jesus comes to show that all these commandments, external in fact, are only symbols to explain the internal commandment. Not working on the Sabbath means spending part of his week, one day a week, on God. But it can be done flexibly. It can be just every day, devote a seventh of his life to God, by prayer by studying the Bible, in short, being, in one part of his life, given to God, otherwise we lose the sense ultimate of his life. So obviously, that does not mean that the command for example, not to work on Sunday would be null and void. Of course, for most people, external benchmarks are called the commandments of the church, but the goal is for people to become free and to understand the intention. If, in their life, they make disappear all idea of God, because they never pray it again, that they never seek it again, they mark themselves of the number six, the figure of the man who lives without God because it makes the week to seven days a week to six days and the number six, 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 we know what it is. It is when man lives perfectly far from God. So obviously Jesus doing it like this, and he's a pedagogue, throws strong symbolic signs that hatred of the Jews will never leave him, they will most likely kill him not only because he told them their four truths, but also because the human ritual, which they have so painstakingly elaborated, well it seems to them to scorn it.